you see the cash rate hitting 4.1% September of next year. And that got uh, edged up from an early projection of 395. A lot of people in the market, though, think that's actually pretty conservative. When you've got wage growth roaring ahead at 7%, one, and two, you've got net migration uh, continuing. Yeah, so, you know, it's the holistic package. We can always point to the things that are going up, and I can point to things that are going down. We need to look at, on average, a 4% uh, nominal interest rate, you know, that, that translates into a 6 7% mortgage interest rate. Um, those are levels that we are confident are above a neutral rate. They will lead to a reduce in spending, that belt tightening that we talked about, that will bring this um, demand in the economy back into a more manageable pace. Demand has been outstripping supply largely through labour shortages um, constraining that supply. So we see that, um, you know, a 4% official cash rate is definitely slowing the economy and will lead to the inflation pressures um, coming out. We're also doing it with regard to our whole remit, because whilst we target low and stable inflation and contribute to maximum employment, uh, we are also having to operate without creating undue uh, instability in output, interest rates and the exchange rate. So it means to think about the timing over which you're comfortable that inflation will come back to within its range. We're seeing inflation expectations coming off. We're seeing forward markets saying, well, that might be enough. You may have got there soon enough. Um, you know, the good news, though, um, we get to repeat this um, every six weeks and we'll be taking and watching the data as we go. Governor, so uh, a terminal rate of 3.9% by mid-2023, does that still stand in your mind? Uh, no, we've, we've pulled, we pulled that forward. We're saying, you know, we're talking about 4% there or thereabouts official cash rates by early 2023. And the reason we're talking about earlier rather than later is that um, we want to be confident that we are applying sufficient downward pressure on demand, on that demand growth, to meet the inflation objectives. Uh, if the direction's knowing, um, known, and we've been signalling now for, you know, 12, 15 months, this is what we're doing, um, we're very confident of, um, you know, completing our task and then resuming a more watch, worry and wait stance that um, central banks are used to doing.